So how does an SBD works or a surge protection device work in order to protect our system against over voltage? So let's look at our system here. So we have here um, a very simple uh, single line diagram for our system. Let's say it is like this, okay? So we have a system. This is an incoming circuit breaker, okay? In the main distribution port, main distribution port. And from this port, we will have a sub distribution port like this. Okay, for example like this and another one like this which supplies electricity to different loads like this okay so if over voltage occurred on here let's say the normal volt 220 volt if over voltage occurred here okay for any reason what will happen exactly that these equipments will have the same over voltage for example if this over voltage is 2 kilovolt for example then the voltage here across any loads will be also 2 kilovolt okay now this is in the case of over voltage due to lightning strikes due to switching actions so how can i solve this uh, simply by connecting like this going here like this Okay, another circuit breaker, and we will understand later in the course why do we need it with an SPD, a surge protection device, SPD, connected to the ground. Okay, like this, or the earthing system. So what will happen if the voltage here, let's say our operating volt 220 volt, if the voltage here exceeds, exceeds 220 volt, exceeds 220 volt let's say it becomes 400 volt this one will start operating and it will become a short circuit like this so it will allow the over volts to go like this through it and the ground so in normal operation so if we look at the same figure here here as you can see we have incoming circuit breaker main circuit breakers we have some distribution ports, let's say two distribution ports with some loads. Okay, each one is protected by a circuit breaker. Now, during normal operation, voltage will go, okay, and the current will flow normally through all of these equipment. However, due to when we have over voltage, what will happen if that um, without SPD, all of this will have insulation failure? However, due to the presence of SBD, when we have a lightning strike or a switch, a large switching action or whatever, the SBD will become a short circuit, which will connect this phase with the ground or the three phase with the ground, okay, allowing the current to flow through it and the ground, okay. So it's connected barrel to our loads. So First thing that we understand now is that our surge protection device connected barrel to our loads to the circuit that needs to be protected. Or also we can say it's parallel to the main circuit breaker. In normal operation, in no vol in over voltage happening, we have the normal uh, phase to ground voltage or phase, phase to neutral voltage or line to line voltage. In this case, our surge protection device will act similar to an open circuit breaker. So as you can see, if we have our voltage, phase volts, 220 volt, which is the normal operation of our system, then this surge protection device, it will act like an open circuit. So it will be like this. You can see the same figure here, like this. This surge protection device will become a an open circuit like this. Okay, open circuit. So no current will flow through it right because we have normal voltage of 220 volt okay so this is what we call high impedance mode of operation why high impedance or high z z here high impedance because as you can see open circuit is uh, translated into large impedance or large resistance okay because it is an open circuit 
Now, what will happen is that when we have an over voltage, when over voltage occurs, the surge protection device will start discharging the lightning current to the ground. So how it become active when it senses that there is a voltage higher than the operating voltage, it will start changing its own resistance from high impedance and open circuit, it will become a, a small resistance like this. So what will happen is that the current will go through it and to the ground. Okay, so it provides a low impedance uh, path for the lightning current or the over voltage current. Now, this is can be uh, thought as of closing a circuit breaker and connecting it to the ground. So it's as if we are providing a short circuit of the electrical network with the airs. Now, remember that this happens for a very, very short time when it dissipates the over voltage okay after it it will become an open circuit again so what i mean by this i mean that this one this circuit breaker is already closed okay all the time it provides an over current to protection for sbt okay we will learn about this later in the course but for now just to think that we have only sbt so during normal operation it is an open circuit like this okay when we have an over voltage it will become a short circuit or have a very very small resistance very very small resistance that allows the current to go to the ground due to over voltage now when over voltage ends when the over voltage transient ends what will happen in this case is that the sbd will become an open circuit again okay thank you for watching this lesson I would like to invite you to our academy, Khadija Academy Premium uh, Membership, which will help you learn more about electrical engineering. In this academy or in the academy membership, you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in math, electrical engineering basics, uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations. For example, we have electrical design, we have courses on electric circuits, power electronics, ETAB, MATLAB, solar energy, wave energy, wind energy, and much more. You will find also in this uh, academy, you will find the different uh, feedbacks from some of our uh, students that joined our uh, courses. You can, for example, um, uh, join our membership for just a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new courses that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers, magnetic circuits, machines, uh, power electronics, uh, load estimation, lighting design, lightning also design, earthing system, cables, uh, generators, um, light current systems, or low current systems, uh, off-grid design, on-grid design. Very, very lot, <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics. Okay, and you will find that inside when you join this membership, you will find this uh, blueprint that will guide you in which classes you will start with when you join this membership. So thank you and see you in our um, membership on Khadija Academy.